press delete when you power on your pc continue press it till you get into the bios setting then um, this window will show up in i am using as asus motherboard rog so um this is the easiest way to overclock your pc i have overclocked it to 5.1 gigahertz my base clock was 3.8 uh, my CPU is i7-10700K and RTX 3070 with uh, 3200 MHz RAM 750 Watt power supply So what you have to do is you have to go down here in advanced mode and then you have to go to AI tweaker once you go here you have to uh, put this ai overclock tuner to manual i'm not going to put it in xmp2 so many people put it uh, in xmp2 but mine was not working so i put it in manual then you don't have to change anything as soon as you uh, put it in manual you just have to uh, change two or three settings like uh, when you go down here when you see cpu core ratio it will be ai optimized or auto so you have to do sync all cores and then you have to go here all core ratio limit so this will be auto here you will click and you have to write 51 and press enter 51 means 5100 megahertz that's 5.1 gigahertz if your cpu support like 4.9 gigahertz boost then you have to write 49 here my one supports 5100 megahertz that's 5.1 gigahertz so i've written 51 after seeing all codes you have to write 51 then there comes the uh, ram part so a lot of you don't know that when you assemble your pc like i did uh, my ram capacity is 3200 megahertz but uh when you assemble it it will be on 22 or 23 2300 megahertz by default so you have to come in the bios and change it now i have not uh, put it to 3200 megahertz because uh there is some voltage issue with my pc and i cannot run above 3000 whenever i try to do it my pc will restart and keep on restarting so my stable uh, megahertz for this volt voltage is 3000 megahertz you can always change your voltage but i don't want to go uh, that deep and i don't want to change my voltage because i'm not much familiar uh, in the voltage field so uh, suppose if your ram has 3200 megahertz of power then you can try 3200 megahertz if it doesn't work try less if it doesn't work try 3000 megahertz 3000 is it should work 3000 megahertz is easily runnable if your ram stick supports that so i will do 3000 try your maximum here uh not the maximum which is shown here it will show up to very long but you just have to do like what your ram supports and then you have to go down you don't have to change any of the voltage here is the ram voltage if you want to increase it but i know that uh, my old pc was able to run 3200 megahertz easily in this volt so i don't want to change it i don't want to increase it try to do it uh, in 1.5 or something like that uh, 3200 up to 3600 megahertz you can use your ram in 1.3 volts so 1.5 is more than enough for that you should be easily able to run so you don't have to change any of these just make sure it's at least 1.3 and if it's 1.5 then it's good again so i will say 3000 megahertz for the ram and whatever your cpu support just write that number here sync all cores and put it manual you can try xmp2 but xmp2 
doesn't work i have referred a lot of people and xmp2 is not working in lot of them i don't know what's the problem with that i've tried to contact customer support but again they are not able to help me much about that so just try it on manual this is the easiest way you are both of these should show 5100 megahertz as i have written 51 that means 5.1 gigahertz it will achieve and here dram target dram frequency is 3000 so my ram will run on 3000 this should show when you change the settings so this is the easiest way you don't need to change anything in advance or anything in the main menu this is just basic things and if you want uh, if you want to like increase your ram frequency after your cpu is uh, up upgraded to 5.1 gigahertz then you can come in my favorites and you will see the dram frequency then you can try to increase up till what your ram goes but i will suggest not to uh, mess with the voltage because i've had problems regarding that so after you do this go here down easy mode and then uh, here is xmp now i have enabled the xmp and i have done a lot of configurations here but this is just for people who don't want to go very deep in overclocking because they are not much familiar and they don't want to screw up anything so I just put xmp disable and do all the things that i said and try it will get your cpu to 5.1 gigahertz and it will also get your ram to maximum you don't need xmp or anything else because i think that's all you need for games and other stuff for overclocking um here is ai overclocking option where is option normal and i think extreme yeah ai optimized but i put it normal because uh ai will turn on xmp it will try on xmp2 and it will i think it only boosts till 4.9 gigahertz i don't know maybe i haven't updated my bios but just put it on normal and just change these two settings advanced mode ai tweaker manual and all the settings which i said and then you have to do save and exit so i you will see what changes you have made i have not made any changes because mine was already overclocked you will see changes here press ok then your system will restart this is my system it will restart couple of times and then i i think i haven't made any changes so mine won't but you can restart so that's not a problem and then just wait till it start i'm using this currently secondary monitor because my primary monitor broke down and that's why i haven't uploaded any valorant or other videos so now uh, you can go into task manager and then you can go here in performance so task manager i think if you haven't uh, opened more details task manager will show like this you have to go in more details and then performance and then go to cpu so now here you will see your speed even if you are saying like 4 gigahertz or 4.5 or any of those it's okay because it's showing the current use but if you are saying like this then you should know that okay this is already overclocked then you can go to memory and you can see here speed of the ram it's showing 300 megahertz and these are the slot used I have other software as well if you are using uh, Z490 motherboard or any kind of series then you also you will also have this kind of software installed by default so you can go uh, here dashboard uh, this takes some time but see here 550 100 megahertz that's 5.1 gigahertz it's showing now it will show how much it's using and you can also change but i don't think you need this software if you don't have it already because i don't use it and it sometimes when if i'm trying to use it and adjust fan speed or anything it's just going to lag 
so that's it for the video if uh, if you are having any trouble with the overclocking with any machines that that's different from this one then you can contact me on my instagram i will put the link in description you can just uh, dm me there and i can help you out because uh, i have done overclocking in my old pc as well so i think that should be fine this was video for one of my subscriber requests so i uploaded it